Good morning, HCF, and welcome to another online service. Um, we're glad to have you this morning. And uh, let's just praise our Lord this morning and um, give Him all the glory and praise. So join us as we worship.
sons and daughters Earth revealing heaven's wonders Spirit come, Spirit come What you spoke is now unfolding All your children shall be holding
Magandang umaga po muli sa inyong lahat and uh, I hope you are having a wonderful Sunday morning. No? Uh, and today we will be continuing no, on our series no, entitled What We Believe. No? So malapit na rin po tayo. No? By the end of June, matatapos na po natin itong series natin on what we believe. No? Ano po ba ang mga pinaniniwalaan natin no, bilang mga Kristiyano. Okay? So our topic this morning is the sanctifying power of the Holy Spirit. Yan. So may uh, hopefully this morning and I pray no na maintindihan natin kung ano po bang ibig sabihin nung uh, nung sanctifying no nung pagiging sanctified no sa pamamagitan ng banal na espiritu. Okay? So join me in reading 1 Peter 1 verse 1 to 9. No, 1 Peter 1 verse 1 to 9. And it says there, to God's elect Exiles scattered throughout the provinces of Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, who have been chosen according to the foreknowledge of God the Father through the sanctifying work of the Spirit, to be obedient to Jesus Christ and sprinkled with His blood, grace and peace be yours in abundance. Praise to God for a living hope. Praise be to God the Father and our, uh, of our Lord Jesus Christ, In His great mercy, He has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ from the dead and into the inheritance that can never that can never perish, spoil, or fade. This inheritance is kept in heaven for you, who through faith are shielded by God's power until the coming of the salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last time. In all this, you greatly rejoice, Though now for a little while you may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of trials. This have come so that your faith of greater worth than gold, which perishes even though refined by fire, may be proved genuine and may result in praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. Though you have not seen Him, you love Him. And even though you do not see Him now, you believe in Him and are filled with His with an inexpressible and glorious joy. For you are receiving the end result of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Tayo po manalangin. Hallelujah. Father, maraming salamat uh, sa salita na ibinigay niyo po sa amin sa umagang ito. Lord, uh, panalangin po namin na mabuksan po ang aming mga puso at isipan, Lord. Help us to understand uh, your message this morning. Panginoon, turuan niyo po kami. Uh, na maintindihan po namin, Lord God, itong salita ninyo, Lord God, about the sanctification by the power of the Holy Spirit. Help us to understand, Lord God, and help us, Lord, to apply it and be reminded always of what you want us to do. Lord, maraming salamat. Pinupuri ka namin at pinasasalamatan sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. As I was doing my research on this topic, no, nag nagsasaliksik ako no para mas maintindihan ko no kung ano yung kung ano ba talaga itong uh, itong sanctification of the Holy Spirit by the power of the Holy Spirit. I came across this testimony of a pastor, no. Meron siyang meron siyang isang testimonya and and uh, he was talking about no um his conversation no with with a with a friend, no, a long time friend na hindi uh, na hindi niya na hindi niya nakita ng medyo matagal na panahon no um but this story no uh, let me just tell you that this story is not not all that uncommon 
No, ano siya? Um, maybe many of us uh, can relate no to this to this story. No? So let me just no uh, tell you this story. No, medyo maiksi lang naman po ito. No, uh, this pastor has a, a long time friend. No, who called him one night. No, tinawagan po siya sa nung ng isang gabi. Okay? Medyo matagal niya nang hindi nakikita itong kaibigan niyang ito pero uh, ano he, he would sometimes hear about him no na may nababalitaan siya tungkol dito sa sa kaibigan niyang ito. Uh, and somehow no nung gabing yon somehow he already knew what the call was about no parang alam na niya no nararamdaman na niya sa puso niya no sa isipan niya kung ano yung kung tungkol saan itong tawag na ito ng kanyang kaibigan. No, he knew the problem that his friend was going through, no? Yung problema na pinagdadaanan nitong kanyang kaibigan, no? Nadidinig niya na. Um, he was having an affair, no? Merong uh, merong ano, merong kalaguyo itong kanyang kaibigan. No, and in the past few weeks, no, this affair came to light. No, this affair came to light, no? So ibig sabihin, na discovery na, no? Marami nang nakaka naka, nakaalam, no? Lumabas na yung katotohanan. And the thing this pastor was afraid about uh, have already unfolded. No, yung kinatatakutan ng pastor na yon para sa kanyang kaibigan, no, nagkakatotoo na, no? At yun nga yung itinatawag sa kanya ng kanyang kaibigan. Now, of course, no, his friend's wife, no, uh, ito yung kinatatakutan ng pastor, no? His friend's wife was totally totally devastated, no, and broken. No, of course, no, dahil nalaman niya na merong may may kalaguyo yung kanyang asawa, no? And his children no were furious no and hated him for this no nagagalit sa kanya no uh, his once good reputation is now gone and to top it all off no because of this he also lost his job no dahil dahil doon sa kanyang mga ginawang yon no doon sa kanyang ginawang pagkakamali na yon no uh, he was fired from his job no natanggal siya sa kanyang trabaho yung kanyang source ng income no at yung kanyang career no nasira ang lahat ng ito now there were only four words that came to his mouth no that came out of his mouth when they were talking no ito yung ito yung natatandaan ng pastor no words that this pastor could never forget no na hindi niya makalimutan and these words are all too common no ang sabi nung kaibigan niya sa kanya what have i done yeah what have i done no sa tagalog ano ba yung nagawa ko or bakit ko ba nagawa yun di ba these are all too familiar words no Many of us, many of us, no, ask the very same question, no, after we do something terrible, no, pag may nagawa tayong, no, may nagawa tayong mali, may nagawa tayong, no, uh, hindi maganda, no, um, no, nakasakit tayo ng kapwa natin, no, uh, we, 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 this, these words would come to our mind, no, etong mga salitang ito, may iisip natin, pumapasok sa isipan natin, tiyatanong natin sarili natin, bakit ko nga ba nagawa ito? Di ba? What have I done? No? Many of us, no, many of us ask this, this very same question, no? And, uh, no, after we, we, no, uh, we realize, no, na, 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 na-realize natin yun, pagka nagsasuffer na tayo dun sa consequences, nung ginawa nating pagkakamali, no, natatanong natin yung mga bagay na yan. Now, going back to the story, no, balik tayo doon sa kwento nitong kaibigan nitong pastor na to. In the next few months, no, of course, no, the pastor no, ministered to his friend. No, he ministered to his friends. And soon, no, and soon by faith, no, yung kaibigan niyang ito accepted and believed in Jesus Christ. No, maybe years passed, but uh, God did make a way for him. No, uh, what did God do? No, he was able to regain his life, he was slowly able to regain even his family no so nanumbalik no nanumbalik yung yung uh, yung mga nawala sa kanya before now most times no most times the sanctifying work of the holy spirit is not a pleasant one no because it exposes into light no into the light sins that we have kept in darkness no ito po yung trabaho ng banal na espiritu this is the the work of the Holy Spirit, the sanctifying work of the Holy Spirit. What it, it does is that it exposes, no? It exposes our sins, no? Inilalabas niya, no? Into the light yung ating mga kasalanan, di ba? Pero hindi para hiyain tayo, hindi para sirain tayo, kundi para baguhin tayo, no? For a very good reason, no? That He might make us holy, no? Para gawin tayong banal so that He can sanctify us. 
no now this morning i would like to talk about no four important questions no about sanctification and these questions no etong questions na to is the what the when the how and the why of sanctification okay so these are the four important questions okay number one, no unang una what diba what does sanctification mean ano bang ibig sabihin no ng ng sanctification okay uh, first of all no let us try to understand no what it means okay it means several things no it means several things it means to set apart no to purify and to make holy no ito yung ibig sabihin ng ng ano ito yung ibig sabihin ng sanctification to set apart to purify and to make holy para gawin tayong banal okay when the holy spirit sanctifies a man okay when the holy spirit sanctifies a man he is setting him apart for a purpose. No, hinihiwalay tayo ng Diyos. Hinihiwalay tayo ng banales na espiritu no, for a certain purpose. No, A very important purpose. He's setting him apart uh, from this world no, and molds him no, molds him into the work that God has set him out to do from the very beginning. No, Sabi po sa Ephesians 2.10, For we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works. No, when God created us, no, ang purpose ni Lord is for us to do good works. No, hindi tayo create ni Lord para gumawa ng kasalanan. God wanted us to do good works, no, which God has prepared in advance for us to do. No, from the very beginning, yan na, no, ang purpose ni Lord para sa atin na dapat nating ginagawa. Okay? So, what does the Holy Spirit do? The Holy Spirit sets us apart. No, He sets us apart so that He can mold us, so that He can form us. No, into the person that God wants us to be, to be able to do what God wants us to do. Okay, so that is the purpose of the. That is one of the purposes of sanctification. Okay, and then also when the Holy Spirit sanctifies a man, He purifies him. No, He purifies him, cleanses him from the impurities that prevents him from being in union with God and from accomplishing no the God-given task. No, tandaan po natin, we can never be. No, in union with God if we are full of sin. No, kung makasalanan tayo. Tandaan natin, hindi, hindi, ano, hindi, hindi pwedeng magsama ang kasalanan at ang Diyos. Okay? In Titus 2.14, it says there, Who gave himself to us to redeem us from all wickedness and purify for himself a people no, that are his very own, eager to do what is good. Ano yung sinasabi dito? No? Ano yung sinasabi dito? Sinasabi dito that Jesus sacrificed himself. Diba? Jesus sacrificed himself so that he can pay for our sins. And then, no, ano ginawa niya? He promised us a helper, the Holy Spirit, no? So that he can help us, no? Para matulungan niya tayo, para ma-purify niya tayo, no? From our wickedness, no? From our sins, no? Na, na maiwasan natin yung ating mga kasalanan, no? So that we are able to do what is good. Next, when the Holy Spirit sanctifies a man, he is empowered. No, he is empowered to live a holy life. No, to have power over sin that has enslaved him all his life. No, tandaan po natin, nung pinanganak tayo, nandyan na ang kasalanan. No, we live in a corrupted world. No, nandun na tayo and, and uh, from the time that we were born, di ba, nakokorrupt na tayo ng mga masasamang bagay. No, ng mga kasalanan dito sa mundong ito. And that is what, that is what influenced us. No, for all our life. No, sa buong, yung buong buhay natin. Okay? So what does the what does the, the Holy Spirit do? No, the Holy Spirit empowers us. No, he, he empowers us. The Holy Spirit empowers us not to live a holy life. No, ano bang ibig sabihin ng to live a holy life? Buhay na banal, 'di ba? Buhay na malayo sa kasalanan. Okay? No, in in 1 Thessalonians 3:13 it says there, may he strengthen, no? Strengthen in other versions ang ang, ang word na ginamit is to empower. May he he strengthen your hearts so that you will be blameless and holy in the presence of our God and Father when our Lord Jesus comes with all His holy ones. Okay? It is the Holy Spirit that strengthens us, that empowers us, no? and our hearts no? to be blameless and holy in the presence of God. No? So makikita po natin dito, no? um, kung, kung, kung titingnan natin yung word na sanctification, it comes from two Latin words, no? If you break it down, it comes from two Latin words. And these words are sanctus, meaning holy, and ficare, no? which means to make. No? So literally, sanctification means to make holy. 
gawing banal. Ito po ang ginagawa ng banal na espiritu para sa ating para sa ating lahat. Now this is what sanctification of the Holy Spirit means. Okay? So now, now let's go to the second question. So tapos na tayo dun sa what, no? What what the Holy Spirit is. Now, when are we sanctified? No, the next question is kailan ba tayo no ginagawang banal ng banal na espiritu? Okay, when are we sanctified? Now I believe No, I believe that sanctification, no, based on on the on the scripture, that sanctification is a process. No, isa po itong proseso that starts at the time of our salvation. 1 Thessalonians 2:13 says, "But we ought always to thank God for you, brothers and sisters, loved by the Lord, because God chose you as first fruits to be saved through the sanctifying work of the Spirit and through belief in the truth." He called you to this uh, to this through our gospel no that you might share in the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. So nagsisimula po 'yon no from the time that we have been saved from the time that we believed in the Lord Jesus Christ nandoon na po yung simula ng sanctification no the holy spirit dwells in us diba reveals in us no reveals uh, to us no yung kung ano yung gusto ng Diyos para sa atin what the Lord wants for us what the truth is all about. 'Di ba? Kaya nga gospel of truth, ito yung nire-reveal sa atin, no, ng ng uh, ng banal na espiritu, no? And then, no, and then it empowers us, no, tinutulungan tayo para mapaglabanan yung kasalanan, no, sa ating mga buhay. Yes, our Lord Jesus and uh, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ paid for our sins, no? Binayaran niya yung ating mga kasalanan and thus redeemed us. No from the penalty of death. No, no binayaran niya na para hindi na tayo, 'di ba? Para hindi na hindi na natin kailangan pagbayaran pa yung kasalanan natin, no? At hindi na tayo mamamatay, no? But it does not, no, I, I mean spiritual death, no? But it does not mean that we cannot sin anymore. Hindi po ibig sabihin noon, no, na pag tinanggap natin ang Panginoong Hesus, naniwala tayo sa kanyang sa kanyang ginawa para sa ating mga buhay, para maligtas tayo, no? It does not mean that we cannot sin anymore. Diba nagkakasala pa rin tayo, no? Remember that we live in a corrupted world, no? And a corrupted body, no? Naninirahan pa rin tayo sa mundong ito, no? Na, na punong-puno ng kasalanan, no? Naninirahan pa rin tayo sa katawang ito, no? Na na, na corrupt na, no? Ng sistemang ito, ng 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 mundong ito. Okay? So what makes us think that we can, we are not capable of sinning anymore after we have received Jesus Christ? No? Accepting Jesus as Lord and Savior and believing in his finished work has redeemed us from the penalty of death. But, no, but our corrupted body will need a helper. Nangangailangan pa rin tayo ng tulong for us to be able to overcome the hold of sin. No, tandaan natin, we are still slaves, no? Yung 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 flesh natin are still slaves of sin, no? Uh the, the hold of sin in our lives, no? so that we can live holy lives no para tayo makapamuhay ng banal no na, na, na pamumuhay no even paul no has, has expressed this frustration no itong tong struggle na to no in romans 7 verse 15 no and then nagskip ako to 18 and 19 no and this is what he said no ito yung sinabi ni pablo no i do not understand what i do for what i want to do i do not do but what i hate i do No and then in verse 18 for I have the desire to do what is good but I cannot carry it out for I do not do the good I want to do but the evil I do not want to do this I keep on doing. No so medyo nakakalito itong etong sinasabi nitong si Pablo no medyo na medyo confusing but this is Paul's struggle no ito yung struggle niya in the flesh. 'Di ba sinasabi niya dito yung gusto kong gawin hindi ko magawa no pero yung yung mga bagay No because he was already no he has already given his his ano his spirit to the Lord di ba nag, nag ano na siya eh no na, nakilala niya na si Jesus tinanggap niya na ang ating Panginoon naniwala siya di ba at pinaninindigan niya at gumagalaw siya no he was working for the Lord already but then no he was still struggling with sin no there are still certain sins no na 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 na, na ano niya na, na pinaglalabanan pa niya no so ito yung sinasabi niya dito The, uh, what i want to do i do not do but what i hate i do ito yung yung nagagawa pa rin niya no so sinasabi nga dito for i have the desire to do what is good but i cannot carry it out for i do not do the good that i want to do but the evil no i do not want to do this i keep on doing 
ba? So he was talking about this particular no, this, this particular uh, bandage no, yung yung kasalanan na nagagawa niya. Then he continues no, pero nagpatuloy siya no in verses 24 and 25 no of Romans 7. Sabi niya doon, "What a wretched man I am." Sabi niya, "What a wretched man I am." Na, 'Di ba? Parang sinasabi niya, "Napakasama akong tao." No, who will rescue me? Sino ang magliligtas sa akin? No, from this body of death, di ba? And he was talking about his physical body, no? Kasi alam niya yung isipan niya, yung spirito niya nasa Dios na, no? Yung spirit niya ibinigay niya na sa Dios, no? He has already committed it to the Lord, but his body, no? Sabi niya, who will rescue me from this body of death, di ba? That that keeps on, no? Pulling him towards the side of sin. And then in verse 25 he said. But thanks be to God who delivers me through Jesus Christ our Lord. Sa pamamagitan, no, sa pamamagitan ng ating Panginoong Jesus, no. Ito yung sinasabi niya, no, tayo ay naliligtas, no. The gospel of truth, no, the commandments of the law, no. Ito yung yung the gospel of truth ibig sabihin yung katotohanan, no, the commandments of the law, no, reveals to us our sins. No, ito yung ito yung ano eh, dito nagsisimula yon eh, no. Uh, the gospel of truth is revealed to us no by sharing it no meron meron mga meron mga ma- mana ng palataya na nagshe-share sa atin ng gospel of truth and then we believe in that no pinaniniwalaan natin yon okay no it it reveals our sins no nilalabas nito yung mga pagkakamali natin yung mga kasalanan natin kagaya na nasabi ko kanina it exposes no it exposes our sin into the light okay um No but it only serves no yung yung gospel of truth it only serves as the light no to reveal us our sins no ito yung purpose ng gospel yung purpose ng gospel is to reveal to us our sins diba and then Paul said in verse 25 thanks be to God who delivers me through Jesus Christ our Lord so it is Jesus Christ no and his redemptive work and the promise helper na pinangako ng ating Panginoong Jesus which is the Holy Spirit who empowers us no to overcome sin this is sanctification no the empowering no of the of the holy spirit no para ma- ma-overcome natin mapaglabanan natin yung mga kasalanan natin di ba this is sanctification no and it does not happen once no hindi yan nangyayari ng isang beses lang no rather it is a process no parang yung ano parang parang ano lang yan eh parang proseso no nung 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 coal, no? Alam niyo yung isang uling, 'di ba? Uh, na nagiging, no? Nagiging diamond, no? Nagiging diamond. Now, the process of turning coal into diamond, no, is a natural process that takes extreme pressure. Ibig sabihin, merong pressure, no? Uh, through nature, it it it, it 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 gives the coal, no, the necessary extreme pressure. Napaka, no, napakalakas na pressure, no? for how long for billions of years no sabi sa sabi doon sa nabasa ko 1 to 3 billion years no uh, for it no to turn that coal into diamond parang ganun po yung process ng sanctification the process of sanctification is like that okay sabi sa 2 Corinthians 3:18 but we all with unveiled face no beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory from glory to glory just as from the Lord the Spirit no the sanctifying power of the Holy Spirit transforms us from glory to glory throughout our lives no binabago tayo ng banal na espiritu no from glory to glory okay so so sinabi natin ano that that we are being transformed no the Holy Spirit is transforming us from glory to glory no throughout our lives but the next question is How are we sanctified? How does the Holy Spirit do it? No, paano ba nangyayari ito? No? So how are we sanctified? No? Uh, it starts with hearing, no, uh, from the hearing of the gospel of truth. No, nagsisimula yan, no, sa sa pag narinig na natin, no, yung gospel of truth. As I have said earlier, 'di ba? Merong mga ano, merong mga merong mga mga mana ng palataya, na, mana ng palataya, no, nagsi-share sa atin, no, ng gospel of truth. or nadidinig natin no sa, sa pamamagitan ng no sa pamamagitan ng radyo or sa pamamagitan ng TV or sa pagbabasa ng Biblia no we hear about the gospel of truth no and in Romans 10:17 sabi dito faith comes from hearing the message 
no and the message is heard through the word about Christ no however no natin madinig no or mabasa no yung yung gospel of truth yung mensahe ng ating Panginoong Jesus no this is way, where faith comes from dito nagsisimula ang pananampalataya no it is by faith that we believe diba sa pamagitan ng ating pananampalataya naniniwala tayo no or or, or we, we we believe what we read no and and then faith no arises from us so nagkakaroon tayo ng pananampalataya sa ating Panginoong Hesus no and then in Romans 10:9 sabi doon if you declare with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead you will be saved no at pag tayo nagkaroon ng pananampalataya no at naniwala tayo sa kanya no then we will be saved no when we declare that Jesus is Lord no that he is our lord that he is our savior that what he did on the cross is enough for us to be saved no para maligtas tayo then no we are truly saved no sabi niya by believing we are saved no and with salvation no with salvation comes sanctification sabi po sa galatians 2:20 i've been crucified with christ and i no longer live no but christ lives in me this is sanctification when christ lives in us no he puts his holy spirit in our hearts no we no longer live no our our old lives no but the new life we start living and this is the sanctified life ito yung ito yung buhay na patuloy na binabago ng ating panginoon no the life i live in the body i live by faith in the son of god Diba? Tandaan natin, so sabi niya, the life I live in the body, ibig sabihin, ito yung corrupted body natin. Diba? No? And we live it by faith in the Son of God. No? Ito yung binabago, ito yung sinasanctify no? ng banal na Espiritu, no? yung body natin, no? uh, who loved me and gave himself for me. Diba? Ito yung pagbabago na ginagawa sa atin ng ating Panginoon, no? ng banal na Espiritu. We are sanctified through the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. No? It, yun ng paraan para ano yun yung paraan para uh, para maging banal tayo no para mas sanctify tayo we need the indwelling of the holy spirit no in our bodies who reminds us of the very words of our lord jesus and empowers us no so ito yung ito yung ito yung work ng holy spirit no it reminds us no what the lord jesus has told us no what the gospel of truth no is all about no and then it empowers us no it empowers us tinutulungan tayo 'di ba mapaglabanan no to overcome our sinful nature mapaglabanan yung yung body natin yung sinful body natin no yung sinful nature natin 1 Thessalonians 4:2 to 7 it says there for you know what instructions we gave you by the authority of the Lord Jesus it is God's will that you should be sanctified by the authority uh, uh, that you should be sanctified that you should avoid sexual immorality that each of you should learn to control your own body in a way that is holy and honorable not in a passionate just like the uh, not not in passionate lust no like the pagans no but uh, who do not know god uh, and that in this manner in this matter no one should wrong should wrong or take advantage of a brother or sister The Lord will punish all those who commit such sins as we told you and want and warned you before. For God did not call us to be impure but to live a holy life. No, so sabi dito, God did not call us to be impure, no, but to live a holy life. So it is the Holy Spirit that helps us. No, ito yung nagre-remind sa atin, no, na 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 ito yung nagsa-sanctify sa atin so that we should not we should, we should be able to avoid so that we can avoid sexual immorality so that we can avoid 'di ba um yung yung these are particular sins no na mini-mention dito ni 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 Paul no uh, yung yung passionate lust no which which the pagans which pagans uh, uh, freely do no because they do not know God no uh, that you should not no do wrong or take advantage no of brothers and sisters no bakit kasi merong kaparusahan niyan sa ating Panginoon no so sabi dito ni Pablo God did not call us to be impure but called us all to live a holy life the holy spirit whom Jesus promised to help us will empower us no to live holy lives okay so in conclusion no In conclusion, I would like to answer the final question, no, yung last question dito, which is the why. Okay? Now, to answer the last question, 
why then do we need to be sanctified? Bakit ba natin kailangan ma-sanctify? Why is it important? No, isn't salvation enough? Hindi ba sapat na yung salvation natin para uh, para ma- maligtas tayo para 'di ba? Uh, para mabuhay tayo dito sa mundong ito at uh, uh, um, ma- makasama natin ang ating Panginoon. 'Di ba? In Romans 1 verse 1 to 2 it says there, to God's elect. No, and this is our This is our scripture reference, no? yung scripture reference natin kanina na binasa ko. In, in Romans 1, verses 1 and 2, To God's elect, no? exiles scattered throughout the provinces of Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, who have been chosen according to the foreknowledge, foreknowledge of God, no? the Father, through the sanctifying work of the Spirit, no? to, through the sanctifying work of the Spirit, to be obedient, no? to be obedient, obedient to Jesus. So ito yun, ito yung ano eh, ito yung purpose, no? This is the purpose of the sanctifying work of the Spirit, to be obedient to Jesus Christ, no? And sprinkled with his blood, no? Grace and peace be yours in abundance. Praise to God for a living hope. 'Di ba? Meron tayong pag-asa because of the sanctifying work of the Holy Spirit. Though we sin, no, from time to time, no, nakilala na natin ang Diyos, sinanggap na natin ang ating Panginoong Yesus and yet we seen from time to time there is a living hope. Meron tayong pag-asa. Why? Because the Holy Spirit is empowering us and transforming us. ba? Diba? Para makapamuhay tayo no, ng buhay na banal. Sanctification empowers us not just to overcome sin, no, not just to overcome sin, but to obey our Lord Jesus Christ. No, para masundan natin yung inuuto sa atin ng ating Panginoong Yesus. It empowers us to do good works no, that God has set for us to do. No, from the very beginning, no, nung simulang-simula pa lang, God wanted us to do good. Di ba natatandaan nyo, Adam and Eve, when, they were, when, they were, when God created Adam and Eve, no, there was no sin. Why? Because that was the purpose of the Lord, for them to do good works. Di ba? Walang kasamaan. No? But then, No, they were they rebelled and they, they were corrupted, no, by by the devil. Okay? So this is what the this is what the Lord does. It, it, this is what the Holy Spirit does, no? It empowers us to do good works that God has set us, no, uh, to do from the very beginning. It empowers us to lead others to Christ. 'Di ba? Ito yung sinasabi natin, no, no when, when somebody somebody shared with us, no, the gospel of truth. It is because that that the, the Holy Spirit is working in them also. No, nag, 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 gumagalaw sa kanila so that they will do the work no, that, that, that the Lord no, has, has set for them no, in sharing the gospel of the Lord. Okay? So it empowers us to lead others also. No? So pag tayo naman ang nakakilala sa Diyos no, at, uh, uh, at naligtas, di ba? we have received the good news, the gospel of truth, di ba? we share it with others. That is our goal. That is our purpose also. Di ba? So that we can fulfill the Great Commission to make disciples of all nations, to baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and to teach them. Teach them what? Teach them all things that Jesus Christ have taught us. Diba yung iniuto sa atin na nasa banal na, na, na kasulatan? Okay? Sanctification empowers us to live holy lives in the midst of a corrupted world. To love in the presence of hate. To have peace in the midst of conflict to have joy through those surrounded by misery, and finally, to have hope in a world filled with hopelessness and despair. What do we need to do now? Ano bang kailangan natin gawin ngayon? First is we need to focus on the fact that God's desire is for us to be holy. Tandaan po natin, that is what the Lord wants for us. God wants us to be holy because it is only Uh, it is only through sanctification, it is only through our holiness that we are able to be in union with God. Diba? Tandaan natin kung punong-puno tayo ng kasalanan, hindi natin pwedeng makasama ang Diyos. Diba? So we need to be holy and that is, the, the, that is what the Holy Spirit is doing in us. No? And then what do we do next? Let us open our lives, our hearts for the Holy Spirit to dwell in us. Diba? Buksan natin yung ating mga puso, buksan natin yung ating buhay, buksan natin yung ating isipan and allow the Holy Spirit to dwell in us. Invite the Holy Spirit to dwell in us. No? And finally, no, when the Holy Spirit has dwelled in us, nandiyan na yung Holy Spirit, allow it. No? Allow the Holy Spirit to work in us and heal our broken lives. 
Diba? Do not resist the Holy Spirit. No? Do not resist the Holy Spirit. Wag nating no i-resist yung Holy Spirit by not obeying it, by not listening, no, to what it is telling us. Diba? That is the that is how that is what we need to do. Diba? So that no the Holy Spirit can sanctify us. No? Para mabago tayo so that it can set us apart. No? and mold us and make us holy so that we will be ready when the time comes that Jesus comes no, and takes us no, to be with the Lord, to be with God forever, no, for eternity. Samahan niyo po ako sa panalangin ito. Hallelujah. Father, we praise you, glorify you, Lord God, and thank you, Lord God, for everything that you have done for us, Panginoon. Lord, maraming salamat sa inyong salita na ibinigay niyo po sa amin sa umagang ito. Lord God, thank you, Lord God, for the sanctifying power of the Holy Spirit, Lord Hallelujah. That you have given us, Panginoon, so that we can be changed, Lord, so that we can be transformed, Lord, from glory to glory, from glory to glory, Lord God. Hallelujah. So that we may be, Lord God, uh, maging karapat dapat kami, Panginoon, sa inyong presensya. Hallelujah. Na makasama kayo, Panginoon. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Lord, right now, Panginoon, uh, Lord, Alam namin, Panginoon, Lord God, that it is your desire for us, no, for us to be holy, Panginoon. Lord, remind us always, Panginoon, Lord God, na ito po, Lord God, ang kagustuhan ninyo para sa amin. And so right now, Lord God, we open our lives to you. We open our hearts to you. We open our minds to you, Lord God. And we invite, Panginoon, your Holy Spirit to dwell in us, Lord God, to be with us, Lord God, every day of our lives, Panginoon. that we may always be reminded, Panginoon, of your words, Lord God, that we, when we are tempted, Panginoon, you are there to remind us, Panginoon, that we are holy, Lord God, that you are changing us, Lord God, from glory to glory, that we do not need, Lord God, to, uh, Lord God, to, to succumb, Panginoon, or to surrender to our earthly desires, Lord God. But we can, Lord God, overcome this. Lord God, through the power of your Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Help us, Lord God. Empower us, Lord God. Hallelujah. Teach us, Lord God, not to resist, Lord God, your Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So that it may help us, Lord God, and empower us to do greater things, Lord God, for your glory only, Panginoon. Lord, maraming salamat. Pinupuri ka namin, pinasasalamatan ka namin, Lord God. As we open our lives to you, as we open our hearts to you, Lord God, fill us with your spirit, Lord God, and empower us, Panginoon, hallelujah, to do your work, Panginoon, and to be holy, as you have said, just as you are holy. Panginoon, maraming salamat. We praise you and glorify you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen, Lord, and amen. So, muli, maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. God bless you all, and uh, good morning. In sanctification, we have been set aside to do the task God has set us to do from the very beginning. Jesus commanded His disciples in Matthew 28 verse, uh, verse 18 to 20, and He said, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you, And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. As we remember the sacrifice our Lord Jesus, uh, our Lord Jesus made, let us also, through this communion, never forget the command that He gave us. Join me as we break bread this morning. For I received from the Lord that which also I passed on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night that He was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. You may now take the bread.
in the same way after supper, he took the cup saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. You may now take the juice. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's glory, the Lord's death, until he comes. Join me in prayer. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, once again, we thank you and praise you, Lord, for everything that you have done for us. We thank you, Lord God, that you have sacrificed your life, Lord God, that we may have ours. Lord God, remind us always, Lord, of your command for us to make disciples, to baptize, and to teach. Lord, empower us by your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, Lord, and amen. And at this point, uh, we would not want you to miss the opportunity to continue worshiping the Lord through our giving. No, you may contact your local pastors, no, yung mga pastor po natin, pwede niyo po silang tawagan, pwede niyo po silang tanungin kung paano po tayo makakapagbigay. Or uh, pwede din po tayo mag-deposit directly sa ating HCF account or sa pamamagitan ng GCash na makikita po ninyo sa inyong mga screens ngayong, uh, ngayong umagang ito. And uh, if you have any comments or questions about uh, our topic this morning, no, tungkol po sa sanctification, or any prayer request, no, meron, meron kayong mga hiling na, na panalangin, please leave a comment on, uh, on this post at HAF Online 2021. Or if it is a sensitive matter, no, you can send us a private message via messenger. No, and we will try our best to respond to you as soon as possible. So muli, magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat and God bless you all.
time Praise Him when the sun goes down Love Him in the morning, love Him in the noon time Love Him when the sun goes down Good God Almighty Jesus in the morning, Jesus in the noontime, Jesus when the sun goes down.